Sunday night and my husband are going to get up to God knows what shenanigans in the kitchen. He's already had one rum and coke. He's starting his second and he just informed me he's committed some kind of drinking sin by having his rum and coke in a JD and coke glass. I, I don't know what that means. I don't drink. <laughs> Even when I did drink, I still wouldn't know what that means. Okay, we have another box from Plated and not sponsored, but if you want to, my email's down below. All right, so this one is Crunchy Chicken Milanese. I'm probably not pronouncing that right, but there you go. Hey, they, look, chicken. 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 They sell these at our Safeway store. We don't have to subscribe to them, although they do have a subscription box service. Um, it contains may contain spinach, basil, chives, russet potatoes, and scallions. I got baby arugula. Okay. So it's just chicken with a really nice, it looks like a nice uh, green kind of a salad with some dressing. It looks like bread, got, breaded chicken. I got something here. It looks kind of crunchy. What's this? Panko breadcrumbs. Panko, yeah. My friend Vicki Brown, who's a chef, she said that's the better kind than the one I usually use. You should apple, use panko. Apple cider vinegar. And papri I bet that's paprika. No, cayenne pepper. Cayenne. Ooh. Ooh, spicy. Somebody's going to like Ooh, that. Ooh, spicy. <laughs> I got some flour. Oh, directions. Destructions. Yeah, destructions. I got honey. Honey deer. Honey. Look, honey, honey deer. Honey for my honey. Oh. Oh, you gotta smash the chicken. Oh, okay. I gotta, you gotta beat your meat. <laughs> oh, God. Here we go again. We're gonna be unmonetized again. Mayo. You're confused. still pulling out ingredients? Oh, yeah. yeah. Dijon mustard. Okay, well, some of it's for the salad dressing. I have to, I have to, like, mix with the dressing. Okay, well, that's, what the, that's, what, the, that's what the maters are for. Yeah. Oh, shit, what are these? What are these little containers? What are these bags? What's this? More mayo. More honey. Honey. Honey, dear. Honey. Okay, that's a lot of honey. I don't know what it's for. Oh, to make honey mustard. Hello. <laughs> uh. <laughs> All right, so it says first make the dressing, which I'll do. I'll let you pound out the chicken, dear. So. I have the um, instructions mm. and the instructions. I'm doing this off camera so I don't look foolish. Pound the chicken. Yeah, so if I need the directions yeah. for making the dressing. Okay, I, I just figured it out. I just okay. got it. I gotta get plastic wrap. We got. We have it. It's in the pantry. Oh, that's where I'm going. Okay. I'm going to the pantry. See, I'm in the pantry. Okay. Oh, look. Two teaspoons mustard. Plastic wrap. It's right here. Half of apple cider vinegar. Apple cider? Oh, here. It's there. I'm going to need a cup to scoop that up in. How come we have this plastic wrap? I don't know. And that, like, um. Because it was probably cheap. No, like, um. The name brand plastic wrap. Uh, cause it was cheap. What I say? Since you're not paying us, I'm not saying their names. Okay. No, so we're not. I? We're not sponsored. I'm not sponsored by anybody, so, so I'm not saying they don't their names. Get, they don't get their That's names right. said. Teaspoon. Teaspoon? Yeah. yeah. It's close enough. Did you just pour the whole thing in? No. It says only two teaspoons. Oh, uh, pour the whole thing. Well, you might need it for something else. Oh, yeah. Good point. Don't listen to me. I know you're like the mustard king and all, and we have a collection in the refrigerator, but... Mustard's cool. Who doesn't like mustard? Um, Communist and fascist. There's a lot of honey. Is there any olive oil in here, or do I have to dig out our own oil? There wasn't any olive oil. Okay, so we need to use our oil. Mm. 
pieces. I guess I should have washed my hands before I did this. Ah. At least wash your hands afterwards before you touch the entire kitchen. Can I touch you, dear? Not until you wash your hands. I don't want salmonella. Sal who? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that Sal. Guy. That guy. Salt. I just made a mess with the salt. Good job, you. I know, and I'm sober, and I made a mess with the salt. Holy cow. See? Get out a drink or two, we're going to loosen up. Um, no. <laughs> that just make me sick. But that's okay. Yes, It'll be shaky again. Oh, it's just a quick bump. Okay, now I gotta count my meat. <laughs> you do that, Aaron. I gotta do it between two pieces of a clear plastic wrap, not without putting any type of bread in it. Not that other brand. You got to make the three um, things to put the chicken in. Oh yeah, I like that. So you can bread the chicken. Dredge? No, you got to dredge it. Dredge, bread, dredge chicken. whatever. Yeah. Place flour large in a large plate, season with one. You notice how I gave him the harder part. Got it. <laughs> I need three bowls. Do we have three clean bowls? <laughs> Barely. Okay. Yeah, we got a lot more clean stuff in the dishwasher. Oh, well. Yeah, but I have to empty that. Okay, let's see. How do you get an egg? I notice there's no eggs in here. Mm. You gotta have it yourself. No eggs and oil. You gotta get those. Well, that was weird because the other, uh, the other one, one we had had oil in it. It did have, it had sesame oil. So feedback, you should have it clear on the label. Uh, you might have, and we may have missed it, but you should, and we have the ingredients, but you should either have everything in the box or have it like in maybe big red letters. You're going to need an egg and you're going to need some oil. You know, we had a special with this that we got, we got a free container of olive oil. Maybe that's why. Maybe that's why, because we got free olive oil. Yeah, but I didn't open it because we already have olive oil, so I don't want to have two of them open. You're gonna watch this and watch us make dinner. Yeah. Really. Yeah. Is that interesting that people want to just like watch us make dinner? Yeah. Evidently. Evidently. They think you're funny. Well. Really. <laughs> I'm funny, huh? Funny, funny how? Do I amuse you? Am I, my clown? What makes me so funny? You are a clown, dear. 
I shouldn't say that because that's from a movie. I didn't get royalty for that, damn it. Dang it, what are you doing? Don't quote movies. Now I'm making the honey mustard, which has mayonnaise in it, which is weird. Then why don't they call it honey mustard mayo? I don't know. So I got to whisk together the honey and the mayonnaise. Oh, yeah, All not... six packets of honey. That's a lot of honey. That's not fair for the, uh, for the mayo people. Feels like to me that the mayo people are getting discriminated against. <laughs> Yeah, their name's not in it at all. Oh, and the cayenne pepper goes in here. Does it? Yep. I need some salt and pepper. It's over here in the corner. But you know what I'm going to put in here, too? I'm going to put in some celery salt. Because you know why? You like celery salt on chicken. I already know why. I've known you 30 years. Because this was an old thing for my mom, is that. Your mom's a good cook. She may only use celery salt, salt, and pepper, but she's a good cook. Always use celery salt with chicken. Chicken. It's a Betty Aaron's thing. It's Mom Aaron's. Everybody say hi to Betty. She doesn't watch the vlog, but say hi anyway. Be nice. She's she's almost ninety. Say nice. Say hi. Be nice. Hi. Right. Be nice. Listen, you live to be almost ninety years old. People should just be nice to you. Yeah, and if you don't care, well, when you get to be ninety, you don't really. You care. don't care, no. You don't give still. a. Line. Should be respectful. Okay, so I got the three things. Can I have this? Don't mind me. I'm still, I'm still pushing out honey. <laughs> yes, dear. Well, it's yeah. So we got a dredge of chicken in the flour, shaken off excess, dip in the egg. You're gonna need the big pan. And then dredge in the breadcrumbs. I guess I should like start a start a heat, start a flame here. Yeah, probably you should start some a pan with some oil in it. I'm guessing. Yeah, do I need I need two tablespoons of olive oil? It's right there. No, 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 no. Hey, olive. Hey, olive. Uh, what am I going to use? Should I use this thing here, dear? We use a copper one, yeah, because it's deep and it it splutters. You won't get burned. It won't get anywhere. Good. Nothing sticks on it. Yeah. I'm not going to say who this is from, because again. I don't get royalties. <laughs> okay, the rest of the mustard goes in. It's one of these. With the copper bottom. We don't have a lot of non-stick pans because I don't really like them, but you always need one or two. Two tablespoons, let's see here. One, two, done. <laughs> mustard. <laughs> rest of the apple cider vinegar. Yourself. I said I. I didn't say we. You weren't supposed to hear that. I was whispering. They can hear it. Yeah, but you've been drinking. I figure your hearing's turned off. <laughs> no. no, no, no. Drinking affects my other senses, not my hearing. Okay. It affects my common sense. Well, that's true. cayenne pepper to reach your desired heat level oh, only i'm married in. to bob aaron so throw we're gonna just in. put it all in although i will say if i had he had his way i'd dig the other cayenne out of the thing and i at the pant the spice cabinet and i put more in but we're not doing that it says cook this two to four minutes per side well yeah because mm. it's chicken well, yeah, just well until it's brown. Everything's nice and brown, which is yeah. about two to four minutes per side. So because you you pounded it flat, so it shouldn't take as long to cook. Yes, the meat has been pounded, so it shouldn't be take too much. Well, it's certainly a decent amount of flour. Okay, I'm not exactly sure what the honey mustard is for. I have this feeling it's for the chicken, but there it is. It's all made. It's like a sauce. Yeah, I think so. Kind of like. Have it, can I get my finger in it and taste it? If you want to. 
It's not sweet and mustardy. Well, because there's a lot of honey in there, like six of these packets, and each one of these packets is half an ounce of honey. So that's three ounces of honey. That's a lot wow. of honey. You went to college. You know your math. Yeah, I didn't graduate. <laughs> I had to take math to be an optician. I That's the only reason I went to college. I never finished. I don't like being told what to do. No, you don't. You know that. Here's my pounded meat. There's your pounded meat. I'm going to get the arugula out of your way. I'm going to rinse yeah. it off. That'd be a good idea. It's a long overdue update to fried chicken and dipping sauce. Well, you might as well, don't mumble it. Mumble, Read mumble, it mumble, out mumble. loud for no, the folks. I, nope, I mumble. Oh, I'm mumbling. All right, so this is what he was mumbling. Yeah. Tell us what Made with creamy homemade honey mustard and crispy chicken that's pan seared instead of deep fried, this American Italian mashup is the long overdue update to fried chicken and dipping sauce you've been waiting for. That's what I just said. You mumbled it. Nobody can hear that. Well, you know, but I said that. It looks good. It looks good. I mean, I mean, I do this all the time here, you know, with the chicken and stuff. You do. You, I let you cook on the weekends, and then during the week I just um, heat things. <laughs> right. Occasionally I cook. We might have to keep this recipe card because it sounds good. Okay, I'm in the I'm in the panko sauce. I'm in the pankos. The breadcrumbs? Yeah, the panko breadcrumbs. Put a lot of that shit on. Boy, what a mess. What? Nothing. You know? I know I'll clean when you're done. Blow me a kiss before you leave. Stop. Stop it. Shh. You're gonna get me demonetized. I'm telling you again. I didn't say anything. <laughs> I was just singing to myself. Uh-huh. Little bit of that. Little bit of this, little bit of that. I need some wine to go with this. That goes well with your rum and coke, I think. You know. Whoa, hey, watch it. Easy. Whoa, the tiger. Easy killer. Gonna be just laughing and giggling. Oh my god, look at him, he's so funny. He's hilarious. That's what they did last time. Hey, maybe I'll get on like Rachel Ray's show or something like that. There you go. No, I I can have a like a I can have a uh, contest between me and Bobby Clay. Oh boy. No, you and um what's his name? Um what? Who? Who? Gordon Ramsay. You see, you swear at each other in the kitchen. Oh, yeah. He'll tell me, <laughs> it's raw. I'll tell you what a donkey you are. Yeah. And I'll say, yeah, damn right it's raw. It was a, that's what I want. I want it raw. Whoa, hey, watch wow, it. Wow, that was Ouch. poppy. That almost hurt me, man. I'm standing, I'm, what? Stand back. Yeah, I can do it with Gordon Ramsay. That's a good idea. See? I can cuss back at him. Yeah. Give me that British cussing and I'll go, yo, what's up, man? Give him some New York attitude. It's a lot of salad. You don't like salad that much. That's, that is a lot of salad. Yeah. I mean, I'll eat it, but you don't like it that much. Yeah. I'll make it a mess. 
I'm going to get my honey mustard out of your range of fire over there. Oh, okay, cool. Okay. Are you done with these? I am. You want to just uh, rinse them out? Make sure you use a lot of water because we don't want to clog up the drain. Again? With flour. Again? Yeah, kind of like that. How about if I just dump it in the trash? Oh, well, no. Too late. Too late. I would never do that. I would just do something else, but that's okay. Because well, you want. We're going to have to take this out tonight anyway. So it's kind of full. Yes, dear. Take out the trash. Yeah. Well, we won't be home tomorrow. We're going to be at the photo shoot. No, don't say with whom. I'm not putting that on the vlog, at least not yet. They all know. I ain't saying a word. Good. Can you tell my husband is thrilled? I'm making him go with me. <laughs> Clearly. Well, I don't want to go by myself. I don't know these people, and it's all the way in San Francisco. Oh yeah, we know what kind of we know what kind of a city San Francisco is. Yeah, let's just not say on camera that'll. For we sure. can't. Yeah, that's gonna be. Better. That'll for sure get me unmonetized. Maybe kicked off YouTube. If you stick to the touristy parts, it's not bad. <coughs> mm. I said not bad. I didn't say perfect. Careful where you step, though. Well, yeah. But... Yeah. As you're looking up at the beautiful buildings, oh, wow, look it up there. And all of a sudden, yeah. look, look what you step stop. in. Stop. That's enough. Stop. Look what stop. you step in. Stop, stop it. Jeez, dear. Stop it. Oh, look. Nice. Oh. Oh, nice and brown. Look at that. Which one do you want? It doesn't matter. Well, I cooked it so that both are good. Of course they do. You can pick the one you want. I'll have the other one. We have this and we have the salad. Yeah. I guess there's dipping sauce too. That's that. Honey we mustard should... dipping sauce. This is the salad dressing. Okay. So we should put that in um, little little bowls. We have our little um, small. Yeah. Right, Do you guys. want to just pour it on top of the chicken? Ooh, I want both. Oh, of course you do. I like sauce. I don't need, I'll just put, well, okay. You like sauce and you like your salad drowning, I know. I like a little um, salad with my dressing. Yeah. You don't like to taste the vegetables, that's what it is. There's vegetables? Yeah, that's exactly my point. Maybe we need to make this a new series, Cooking with the Aaron's Family. Cooking with Bob. What about Bob? Cooking with, <laughs> yeah, there you go. Robert's Cooking Hour. Cooking hour. This seems like taking ten minutes. Yeah. Gonna start you your own channel, cooking with Robert. Mm. Drunk cooking. Yeah, you gotta have you gotta have alcohol <laughs> before you start. <laughs> People might think you're faking it. The only problem with that is he's not faking it. Now remember everybody, you want it nice and pink in the middle, medium rare. Stop! You do not! No, you don't. Chicken needs to be well done all the way through. Oh yeah, that's right. What was I saying? We don't want to be liable for somebody getting sick because they follow your dumb directions. Watch this at your own risk. Oh yeah, yeah. Listen I, to me at your own risk. You have to put a disclaimer in the beginning. Yeah, don't listen to me. Oh yeah, yeah. Do you want a separate bowl for your salad, or do you want it on the same plate? It can be on the same plate. Okay. Just like the picture. Just like the picture. Just like the picture. 
It's like a pitcher. Like a pitcher. get a lot of trash though with this. Look at this. There's a lot of plastic a and trash. Look at all that. Do you see that? Do you still up you guys? Look at this. That would be kind of our complaint is there's a lot of plastic trash. If things were wrapped in something that was more easily recyclable, I think I'd be okay with that, but there's a lot of plastic non-recyclable well, trash. This is recyclable the paper is. Yeah. I don't know if the plastic is it might I think it's Probably the wrong the individual kind. Individual plastic ones aren't, but the maybe the container is. Yeah. Write us back at, uh, and uh, let us know what people put, think. Put what something in the comments below and let us know what you think. Ouch. That's hot. I know what's wrong there. I always pick like the smallest bowl in the house to make a big salad in. Why is that? That makes sense here. <laughs> doesn't make sense. You really don't want the chicken pink in the middle, so we paused there for a minute so that we could check and make sure it wasn't. We actually uh, put a thermometer in it, and then he is cutting them in half to make sure they're Ooh, little... white all the way through. One's pink. Ah, I just heard you say that. Oh, yeah, that's not quite done. That was not quite done yet. So, make sure they're done all the way. Follow the directions. <laughs> Pretty sure the chicken's done now. At least, at least I hope so. We cut the pieces in half to not only make sure they were done, but to because um, they were really big. So, ta-da! Ta yeah, see, salad. All right, let's make a plate. Go ahead, dear. Is that my plate? No, I guess not. No. Okay. I'm gonna take this little one. Grab a piece of meat. Yeah, yeah. And then pour a little some, bit of pour some mustard. Honey mustard on it. Honey mustard that has mayonnaise in it. Yes. Which makes no sense. Alright. So there you go. Cooking at the Aaron's house. Happy Sunday.